Hello everybody, I don't know if you can see me because I'm holding the phone. I'll pass you over to the camera now, hold on. We're going to talk about today um, setting up the GX FF airless sprayer. Um, I'll pass you over to the camera around in a minute, but just briefly, what we're going to do, we're going to set it all up. And the basics are, you connect the hose up. Now what I want to be talking about is what I do. I get some Vaseline. I put a little bit of Vaseline on the threads around here. And you'll say, why do you do that? And it's because if you've got loads of spray and you're spraying day in, day out, you don't want it building up with paint and then sticking together and you can't get these off. So if I put some Vaseline around the threads, it does make it easier to come um, when it comes to taking them off with the pliers, spanners. The same principle works on the gun as well. I put some Vaseline around the threads there. I'm going to strip it down. It's around there. Again, the extension bar. I put some um, Vaseline on the threads as well. I'm going to be using, uh, it's love it or hate it, one of the, I call it slingshot, the clean shots. What I do with these when I clean them out after I've last used it, the valve on the end, the screw thread valve, I neither tighten it up or keep it all the way out. That's because obviously when you've not used it for a while, it sets up. So if you can see, I can turn it all the way for spraying, which is tight. And then back out if it was flushing it through for doing the actual painting. So for now, that will connect onto there. That connects onto there. Again, I've got the Vaseline. The Vaseline will go on all those threads and connect them all up. That one doesn't need to be overly tightened. You can tighten that up with your fingers because obviously that's something you want to be swiveling around when you're spraying verticals, horizontals. I'm going to be using a, a 516 gold tritex spray tip because I'm obviously I'm doing ceilings I'll just show you what I've done you can't really see it's a ceiling I've got anti-reflex come on focus I've got anti-reflex 2 now that's neat paint I will be thinning it with some clean water just topping it up slightly it's actually been on a underfloor heating uh, for the last two days so it's actually really at room temperature so it'll spray quite nicely but once I've connected all these up to there to there. I'll put a little bit of water into the um, hopper of the GX Fine Finish um, Greco sprayer. We'll just flush a bit of water through because obviously I've had the um, well pump guard in it as well but I don't want to have any little bits and pieces coming through there um, if I've got paint in. So I'll just flush it through with a bit of water and add some paint to it. So for now, I'll just leave it at that. I'll come back to you on a, on a part two when we're all connected up and I'll show you what I'm doing with the paint and obviously testing out the clean shot and getting that um, to its sweet spot. But for now, all I can say to you is, if you can see me, click the like um, button, obviously press the bell and subscribe. And for now, we're over and out.